Hey everyone, welcome to this session by IntelliPAT. In this session, we are going to take a look at the AZ301 certification. What is AZ301? By the name itself, we can try to figure out it is something related to Azure. Yes, it is. It is a certification provided by Microsoft to become an Azure architect. People who are interested in cloud services and storage can take this certification and become professional Azure architect. Before moving on forward, let us look into agendas for today. What is AZ301? How to get Azure Architect certification? Future scope for Azure Architect? And the last topic, syllabus for AZ301. What is AZ301? The very first thing which comes to our mind is who are Azure Cloud Architect and what is their role? The Azure Architect is responsible for building solutions for the Microsoft Cloud. An architect has an understanding of a customer's need. Microsoft is one of the fastest growing cloud service provider. Hence, the demand for Azure Architects or Azure Solution Architect is also increasing. And AZ301 is a certification provided by Microsoft for people who want to pursue their career as a cloud architect and take profit of this opportunity. If we talk about any job role, the very first thing which comes to our mind is the salary. An average income of an Azure Architect in India is 15 lakh per annum, whereas in USA it is 156 US dollars and in UK it can vary between 54 to 55,000 euros per annum. From the graph provided by itjobswatchco.uk, we can see the demand of Azure Architect started growing in 2014, both in terms of permanent and contractual employees, and it is still growing. This is the very high time when an Azure architect can get job. A person who is interested in this field can take the course and do the certification and can grab the opportunity. The next topic is how to get Azure architect certification. The very first thing which we should know that this, this, this exam is divided into two parts. AZ300 and AZ301. In order to accomplish your dream, of being an Azure architect, you need to clear both the exams. This exam is now called as AZ 303 and 304 respectively. There are few tools which one should know if you are planning to become an Azure architect. The very first thing is in-depth knowledge and experience in IT operation such as virtualization, budgeting, networking, governance, security, data recovery and business continuity. Experience of one of the technologies like Azure Administration, Azure Development, DevOps is also important. One should have a better understanding of cloud services like microservice because in future you'll be working on cloud only. The next thing is one should have experience in performing cost analysis because they should understand where spending money will be fruitful and how much to be spent. And the last thing is good communication skill as they have to interact with business stakeholders as well as their inside team members. That is why a good communication is always helpful. Let us see about the learning path of an Azure architect. The very first thing which is required is a minimum degree, either a bachelor's or a master's in computer engineering, computer science or information technology. One should be familiar with Azure's cloud infrastructure solution. A better understanding of MySQL and a programming language like Java is also helpful. He should have proficiency in one of the operating system and integrated development environment. One must be experienced in open source technologies. It is considered as good if you have a knowledge of cyber security. And here again, good communication and soft skills are important. Experience of computer networking or networking components or protocols is also of great advantage. Working experience of software development or IT field is also a major benefit. And the last thing, get enrolled yourself into a course and get the certification. Moving on with our next topic that is a future scope for an Azure architect. Before moving with the scope, let us look into the roles and responsibilities that one should have to take care of as an Azure architect. He needs to act as a leader of a group of architects providing them directions in order to implement a cloud solution. They have to work with business and technical stakeholders in order to understand the obstacle that is coming in the organization and providing an appropriate solution for it. Develop and implement an Azure cloud architecture and handle such as migration. 
It highlights the solutions that are needed to implement cloud migration and continue operation. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides Microsoft Azure Solution Architect Certification Training mentored by industry experts in partnership with Microsoft. The course link of which is given in the description below. Now let's continue with the session. One must to actively provide the team members with the information and guidance of engineering methodologies, standard and best practices. One should be able to provide technical guidance to its team members during any solution development or any development phase. And it should also execute implementation of the proposed system. One should be able to identify, communicate and mitigate the assumptions, issues and risks that can occur throughout the complete project life cycle. One should be able to judge who strikes a balance between what is strategically logical and what all can be accomplished realistic. Let us move on to what job roles one can get if you are an Azure architect. You can take up and a career as lead architect or DevOps engineer. If you choose lead architect, you can move ahead as a senior architect as well. Who are lead architect? Lead architect lets a group of architect. He has to architect and design solution to meet functional and non-functional requirements. He creates and review architecture and solution design artifacts. Senior architect. The job role of senior architect is crafting architecture and Microsoft Azure that will meet customers' technical security and business needs for app workload. Making possible moves to let everything work on Azure and at last act as a leader for other architects. DevOps engineer. We might have come across this term very often. A DevOps engineer has to manage the IT infrastructure as per the requirement and to support software code that is dedicated in a hybrid multi-tenant environment. There is a need to have some resources for provisioning and getting the appropriate deployment model and also for validating and monitoring the performance. The next topic and the last one is syllabus for AZ301. The last topic is syllabus for AZ301 certification. Let us see the details of AZ301. It is very important if you are looking forward to take this exam. The total time duration can vary from 150 minutes to 180 minutes. The number of questions can range from 40 to 60. The exam fee is $165 which needs to be paid to take up this exam. The question type can be MCQ, hot areas, drag and drop, list, active areas. And yes, the case studies are also included in this exam. If we talk about exam, the next thing comes in our mind is the syllabus. The syllabus is divided into six subsections, each subsection carrying different weightage. Each subsection has a set of skills that will be measured. It is mandatory to attend all the subsections. The next topic is design monitoring which has weightage of 10 to 15 percent. One should be able to analyze the type of work and the other factor which will come into the picture. This involves gathering information and requirement, optimizing the consumption strategy and design and auditing and monitoring system. The next is designing identity and security. Yes, security. We are talking about it again. This is a major concern. It is important to take care of security. This involves skills like design a monitoring strategy for identity and security, design for risk prevention for identity, design authentication, authorization, design identity management. The next subsection is designing data storage, which has the weightage of 15 to 20%. It includes skills like designing a monitoring strategy for data platform, design a data management strategy, design a data protection strategy, design and document data flows. The next subtopic is design for business continuity. Design a site recovery strategy, design a data archiving solution and designing for high availability. In this section, in this section, it is important to take care of ways in which the business can run smoothly and grow well. One should be able to perform these mentioned activities. The next subsection is design for deploy deployment, migration and integration. Weightage varies between 25 to 30 percent. Deployment, migration and integration are one of these aspects which plays an important role in the project but generally taken care at the end. So the skills such as designing an API integration strategy, design deployments and design migration are very important. The next subsection is designing infrastructure strategy. Infrastructure, it is one word but when we think about infrastructure plan, many things that needs to be taken care like designing a monitoring strategy for infrastructure, designing a network strategy, designing a storage strategy and designing a computer strategy. 
Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides Microsoft Azure Solution Architect Certification Training mentored by industry experts in partnership with Microsoft. The course link of which is given in the description below.